Unicorn Circuit. Welcome to another episode of the Unicorn Circuit, your weekly dose of car news, fank wittery, and general silliness from the internet and our brains. Uh, the Mighty Car Mods Tour has begun. Uh, last week we hit up Perth. You can click the doodle to check that out. It was awesome. It Perth was people. so good. Lovely people. I wish we'd gone sooner. Only it's a massive, uh, massive deal to go that far. It with is stuff and take cars. Um, we took Supergrams, which was awesome. Was able to drive that around Barbagello and have some mad runs up the straight with some fans. I got chopped a few times. I chopped a few people, which is actually perfect. And it had been seven years since we're in Perth. Last time we were there was in 2010. We were doing a stage show as part of Auto Salon, um, and uh, an older lady who um, was very excited about getting up on stage uh, when we were there, got removed by security, Martin. She'd been on stage a few times before in her life, she apparently had. on a kind of stage where they have a Yeah, a she, she was doing what she had to do, Martin. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, so we've begun our tour. We're now hitting up a bunch of other cities, including Adelaide, Melbourne, Gold Coast, Darwin, Queensland, is that count as the Gold Coast? I think yeah, it's Brisbane so. technically, Brisbane, it's in is Queensland it? somewhere. Sydney as well, and then Tassie and New Zealand next year, but keep your eyeballs on the Mighty Car Mods Facebook page, that's the other show we make. Or oh, don't, because you won't be missing out on much except everything that you see in the link. <laughs> it's a demand Martin, day, um, yeah. is, there, is there any other news of a, of a personal nature we need to get into before we start the news? Personal um, meaning like just anything? No, I don't think so. I'm ready to talk, to talk about some Ready to get stuff. some nerdery? I'm ready to do it. And today we're talking about cars that require petrol. Some of you will be happy to hear that. So let's just kick right into the unicorn news. So the first bit of news is that someone's come up with brakes made out of aluminium. Now, why is that exciting? Uh, it's why not, is that exciting? It's not particularly exciting. It? But it's interesting because it's a totally different design where the disc is on the outside, sort of the outside of, and the caliper's in the middle rather than having the disc and then the caliper on the outside grabbing it. Oh, that's weird. And it goes the other way. But most interesting is that the disc is made of aluminium. Now, you'll straight away go, well, that's not going to work because aluminium melts really yeah. easily. And, and it's soft, it's going it? to melt soft and it's going to melt straight through. Firstly, it's not going to be used for big cars. It's for small cars and little cars. And, sorry Rob, EV fingers, um, it is for electric cars that don't actually use the brakes much. And why is that an issue with an EV? Because if you're not using the brakes much and you've got cast iron discs, what happens? They rust. They rust and they fall apart and then they don't work. So the idea is that these things last the lifetime of the car. Right. My question And that's because the, the actual electric motor is regenerative exactly breaking. What you said. <laughs> uh, and um, the, the interesting thing is that they say it's gonna last the life of the car. Mm. Now the life is my mirror. That's someone at Daihatsu, if they saw that, would go, that's well and truly extended past the life of the car. Because in warranty oh, absolutely. terms, when they say. Well, it's falling apart, <laughs> isn't it? A little bit. But we're going to fix it. Stuff's uh, falling off. It. It, what is the question is it beyond? Well, it's beyond its usable. I mean, hence why it was $300 and in a scrap heap. Yeah. 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 And yeah. the point is. We found out. We found out why. Um, I think it's interesting that um, a company can decide what the lifestyle, life cycle, not lifestyle, life cycle of a car can be or component of a car can be because they've got no idea. Mm. But I think in warranty terms, there's like a fair amount or reasonable what's reasonable. Yes, reasonable is a funny word. Yeah, we see is. that a little bit. Let's talk about Sky Active X. <laughs> Sounds fancy. Sky Active X is a fancy new petrol engine uh, being developed by Mazda. That's got, are you ready for it? Are you ready to blow your wormhole straight out the back of your head, back through the rectum, out your mouth and into your eyeball again? <laughs> no spark plugs. What? It's a petrol engine with no spark plugs. That's like a, a high compression engine uh, with diesel. some little like supercharging action. Yeah, but diesel kind of performance, uh, but then with petrol, uh, 20 to 30% more torque and power, 20 to 30% more fuel economy, Martin. Um, and due to be like hitting some small, uh, Matsuda car in 2019. If you're ever wondering how to pronounce Japanese car names, we went to Japan and we filmed someone and we said, can you actually pronounce them for us? And if you ever want to know how to pronunciate them, then you can. So Mazda's an interesting one because they're a small car. They're a small car company compared Are they? to some of the giants. Yeah, oh. they appear big in our market. They're not actually as big as sort of Toyota and the Hondas of the world. But what they do do is make some kind of really cool advanced stuff and they're pushing the petrol engine to try and make it last and we've spoken in a previous unicorn circuit about the fact that all these countries are saying no more petrol engines but here's a theory for you what if and i saw a news article about this what if someone invents a fuel that works in the same delivery system as what we currently use that doesn't emit any bad stuff 
I wonder if the world will just overnight change. Like if tomorrow you went, you brought in a bottle and said, this will run your car and it doesn't put anything bad in, back into the universe. Yeah. I think everyone would just go, well, why don't we just use every service station in the entire world as we always have, but put that stuff yeah. in instead? See, that sounds really good. Like, as, like, that sounds like something that makes sense, but things that make sense don't always make their way into policy and then into the whatever, because there's a whole, there's, there's a big game of Monopoly somewhere. Mm. Uh, there's, there's a game of petrol thrones happening and there's people all sitting around battling over who gets to sell the thing and who will buy it, because ultimately what people are going to want to know is how can they insert themselves into it to make money? Like the cars that were powered from, like, water. That's true. Right? Didn't they? They all get bought up and something happened. I can't remember. Oh, but no, yeah, that was, they were the early EVs that got got taken back by the manufacturer and then crushed by yeah. the owners that didn't want to get rid of them because they worked perfectly. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, that, that's a whole thing. Um, anyway, Martin. Um, uh, oh, in other news, yes. Yeah, sorry, this, this is the bit of news that actually has petrol in it as well. Um, so, uh, but of limited interest to us, but maybe interest to you. So BMW have the new M2. That that's like their like like. Three liter, six cylinder, turbocharged Supra. thing. So it's a Supra. Um, two door, four seat thing. They're around 100 grand. They go zero to 100 in four and a half seconds. So the same as a Focus RS, that's half the price. Um, they've got a, a bunch of like autonomously things happening though on the Martin, like autonomous braking, like keeping in your lane, mm. adaptive cruise control. Mm. And here's Martin, here's, here's so the wait, big bit. Keeping in your lane is, is arms for steering wheel. Adaptive cruise control is your ankle yes. and not cutting stuff is your eyes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So basically taking away anything that you need yes. to do. Okay, Here's good. the thing though, Martin. Um, I think what's going to happen is that eventually, uh, you look at the way that cars are designed. They're designed for people to sit in them and drive mm. and for airbags to go off and seatbelts to go on. But think about it. When your car like maybe just has some like little hub motors on it, mm -hmm. so there's no engine bay anymore. Mm. So your car doesn't need to look like that anymore because mm. there's no engine bay. If we're not looking because they're all autonomous, we don't need glass either. Like we don't need to be looking out. Yeah, it'd be nice, but you could close it up. You don't need a windscreen. You won't need yeah. seat belts. You won't need everyone like with their own door and whatever. And so cars, I think, are going to start looking like lounge rooms because you can just get in there and you can just kind of sit and relax. But here's the thing, right? If you and I invented one of those things that's already been invented that you sit on a train track and you go on one side and we seesaw it, mm. those things, if you and I went down and took that down to the local train station and put them on the train tracks and said, we're just going to drive our little train machine on there, we'd probably get sent to jail, right? Mm. And eventually that is what's going to happen on the road. You'll take your own car on the road and they'll go, nope. Because ah. humans plus autonomy is bad. All autonomy, if it works, when there's no more accidents, potentially, yeah. right? So then what's going to happen, what's going to happen, people, is if you want to drive your car, it's like taking what you currently take if you want to go rallying. You're going to get your little autonomous pod. You're going to put your petrol car on the back. You're going to take it to some special place. They'll build a city that looks like a normal city so we can pretend like it used to be like what it used to be in the olden days. <laughs> and you can drive your Silvia around, then put it back on your trailer and then <laughs> pod back home. But then I started thinking as well, no one will even own a car because it'll just be like a crowdsourced thing and a pod will go past and then all the pods are going to be signed up differently. So there'll mm. be like one pod will be mm. like a massage pod, one will be a brothel one, one will have tax advice, one will have whatever. And you go, I want to get a ride home, I'm going to take the Mr Whippy pod, you get in there and there's a guy in there making ice creams. Because all the people that are currently driving taxis and Ubers, they can retrain in a, like a service industry to help people in their cars, pods, as they go home. It's happening, people. It's going to happen. They're taking away our cars, damn it. Let's look on the bright side. You'll never have to pass your learners or your provisional driving test ever again. Oh, no. No, I know. Yeah, that, yeah. that's sad. Like, I'd, like to, I'd like to pick that apart, but this thing, would be, this thing would be gone for three hours. Anyway, they're taking our cars away. Not yet. They will. Who's they? It's us. We're choosing, right? We're choosing the lazy way. Well, we've got adaptive cruise control, man, I... because we don't want to use our ankles. So, like, what's going to happen after that? Can't be bothered using my ankle. Oh, well, can't be bothered driving. Isn't that what some people say about democracy? It's like an illusion of choice. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, it's getting deep. It's getting, it's getting too this deep. This is the news, quickly. apparently. They're taking our cars away in the future. They might. They may or may not allegedly take our cars away one day with, within what is reasonable. They're going to take our cars away fast. Reasonably. Let's reasonably. kick it <laughs> into, is that even legal? This week in Is That Even Legal, Martin, we're heading to the Netherlands. I like, Have you been there? I like that place. I've been there. Everyone's tall and looks like me. Have you? Yep. 
Is the Netherlands near Holland? That's the same place, my friend. Okay. But someone who's from Holland will tell you they're from the Netherlands. That's what they'll tell you. Really? Because that's the name of the country. It's not actually called Holland, I don't think. Or oh. maybe it is. I don't understand. I so what's about the difference that I between about. the Netherlands and Holland? It's the same place. Oh, two names for the but same place. if you're from there, then you're Dutch. Is it two names for exactly the same place? Uh, I think so. Okay. So maybe a Dutch person in the comments will tell us. The same as Sweden and Switzerland then. What? Two different no. names for the same country. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Anyway, so in the Netherlands, this yes, is, a, this is amazing. Weed. Uh, can you? Yeah. Okay. I haven't. Good, mate. Uh, it's, uh, it's illegal to impersonate a blind person after dark. In the daytime, I guess that's not a problem. But at night time, you cannot impersonate a blind person. When does day become night? In daylight savings, it's an hour different. I know. Because the sun goes Whoa, and moves an hour. Martin, I'm getting serious. Okay, I'm go. getting deep. So go I'm, I wasn't going to do it. No, really? we're going to do this. Happy to go there? We should have called this episode the deep episode. The deep episode. Because we're going deep and they're taking our cars within a reasonable time frame. Where are you from, mate? What country are you from? I. Ooh. What's my heritage? No, just where do you live? Where were you born? What's on your passport? Australia. I'm also from Australia. Now, at the moment, this is, is it even legal? At the moment in Australia, there's a big thing going on about people trying to uh, have a postal vote about whether people who are gay should be allowed to get married or not. Mm. So I'm just, I'm going to tell you what, I'm not going to tell anyone what to vote for, who to vote for, what to do. Do your own research and work it out. Well, actually, no, one, no one needs to see people ranting. I, I do want to butt in though. If we, we vote, but that doesn't actually decide. We vote to tell a politician. That's group of what I'm saying. Yes. Oh, sorry, did I just chop you? No, no. Well, oh, yes, just, but that's I'm the confused. point. Yeah. We're talking about is that even legal? So we have this thing at the moment where we're doing a postal vote where we all get sent a thing and you fill out a form saying, are you happy for um, gay marriage, also known as marriage equality? Yes or no. Then you send it in mm. and everyone in Australia who's registered to vote votes for it. But then with the thing we vote for, doesn't even get done oh, yeah, we don't by get the thing. We don't actually get to decide. What really confused me is that I got a thing in the mail that said, hey, this is from the electoral thing. It looked really important. And I was like, oh, this, this looks important. And I thought it was a marriage equality thing. And then there's just a, there's just a picture of like seven different old men on it. Yes. I'm like, this is, this, um, these that's, guys want to get married. That's marriage polygamy. Or, well, I didn't know what it was about. And it turns out that's like a local election. And the, the letter came from the same place, and now I'm really confused. I don't want to write the wrong thing on this thing to say yes, Johnny can marry Freddie, yeah. or no, Jerry can't. Johnny can't marry Freddie. When that's actually a completely different thing. It's getting confusing. Oh, Everyone's getting a bit crazy. I don't know what to do. Martin, I'm just going to say what I what I say about cars and and many things. Just choice, people. Choice. We want the choice. Damn it. I saw two ladybirds banging on the bubbler the other day. <laughs> the bubbler? Yes. <laughs> Insert photo of the lady beetles boning on the bubbler. And, uh, and, and you know what? I turned the bubbler on, I drank my water, and I just kept going and it didn't affect me at all. Hmm. That's all. That's deep, man. Let's, I'm, and I don't even want to... See, I don't... See, people are saying it's because right. of the Bible. You the should... Bible says don't trim your beard, so I'm See, I... I think you should. So are you. I know. And you can't eat bacon. I, th I think you should be able to decide if you want dose or you want a blow off valve. I don't. I think, just do what makes you happy, man. If you like the do do pigeon, if you love the pigeon, put the pigeon. Yeah. If you love the whoosh, do the whoosh. It would make it's me happy fine. knowing that people are either whooshing or pigeoning and happy. And about I go, it. look at that. Mm. He's the pigeon. He's the whoosh. She's mm. the lady beetle. Because mm. if those seven dudes on a thing tell me that I can't wait, I can't whoosh or do or choo choo. You anyway, can't. You can't. Well, have I'm not allowed to anyway, so no. That's the thing, Martin. Yeah. It's, it's what if someone told you that you can't? Well, they actually they did. We can't have blow offs. That already house. happened. Ah, Martin, let's get to it. Uh, where are we? Uh, my crap car. Is it? My crap car. Let's no, go my crap car. Do we do my crap car? Yes. My crap car, Martin, the new episode just went up. Oh, it's, it's a separate thing. It's we a, it's we spun off. it off. We got so many awesome crap cars that we thought it needed its own I'll, sh I'll show you what it did, Martin. It did this. That's good, that was a spin-off. Uh, it got its own mad spin-off, so now you can watch My Crap Car in its own thing, which is on which way, Martin, Which way do we click? I both. get confused because it's backwards of the thing. Anyway, so there it is. Click right there now. I'll give you five seconds to do it. One, two, all right, that's it. Bank of the week. Martin, tell everyone Isn't about it the off internet. Oh, what, what? Weird, yes.
You weird stuff, Martin. What have you got for us, mate? I've got Each a Each week we try and get something for you. It's strange. Th this is strange. It's got lots of bubble wrap, which is, I don't know if it's a good Pull sign or a bad sign. Pull it all out. What do we got? It's a driver alarm. Oh, I've heard about these things. What's a driver alarm? Driver though? alarm is a device that attaches to your ear and sends a signal as soon as it senses the first sign of sleepiness and distraction at the wheel. So what kind of distraction at the wheel, I ask you, because if you get distracted by... What if by you fall asleep, Martin, and wake up... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, just beep every time Press, you... Let's, let's do it. You do it, and I'll tell you what to do. Here okay. Oh, it looks so... <laughs> Press the on-off button. The device will vibrate or make a beeping sound. Place the device behind your ear. Make sure the device is... No, you just crashed. Just backwards, dude. Oh. I think you do it like a hearing aid. When you tilt your head forward, the device, you should leave that on all day. Is that really annoying? It really works, Martin. It works. Always turn the device off when you are done and store it away from the start. <laughs> you could... As seen on TV. Um, that's As seen on the unicorn circuit, change your artwork, damn it! As seen on the best show on the internet! It's one of the worst shows on the internet, actually, let's be honest. <laughs> I'll wear it for the rest of the show, though. All the rest of the day. Martin, actually. I think this could work. You reckon Actually, no, I'm not going to make any claims about that, because I reckon when people fall asleep... Oh, it's... You've got to go a fairly long way down. Do you reckon it's got a mercury switch in it? Yeah, like a little... Your a little like a little thing. um no yep. but do you think it's like an actual mercury switch don't know like a little capture with it'll some, work like that two yeah. probes and a if this has worked or saved someone's life totally worth it mm. would you wear one no i don't get sleepy when i drive what about when you're not driving <laughs> what, 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 what possible reason would i have to wear it when you're listening to heavy metal yeah sure all right, thank of the week. It's loose. I'm hungry. Damn it. Let's get some food. Let's finish this shit. Thank you. Thanking is the delightful art of recontextualizing an object. Could be a food object, doesn't have to be. By holding it down near your crotch, bonus points for double thanks, triple thanks. You can use your thumb, the thumb technique or the finger technique to obscure words to make it more and more entertaining. Thanking has exploded. When we started thanking, it was about, well, it was just us doing it. And then there was a couple of hundred people doing it, so we never told anyone that was us. And then it was on the unicorn circuit. Now it's got like 25,000 people who are all thanking their faces off on a weekly basis. And some of the thanks that have come through have been spectacular. And everybody, I would like to introduce a new word, Fankwinian theory. It's like Darwinian theory, the theory of evolution. Today, today everyone, you're going to see Fanking evolved. Okay. Martin, okay. We, and I say, if I just saw one, I would go, that's enough. Two Fanks have come in this oh, week. Oh, it's happened. That have evolved Fanking it's in a way that today. I never thought had happened. Something, it's, it's amazing. There's also, I'm just going to do some rain fingers. That we, met some, we met some young people out at Perth as well. Um, there's some really rude stuff in today's ones. Uh, it's quite rude. Come back in a couple of minutes. We'll do this again. Mum and Dad, we'll do this. No, we'll flap like a bird, like that. We'll do that again when it's, when it's safe. safe to come back. Um, cool. and, um, and obviously some are too rude. We don't even share them on the show. Some things that are in here I, have only been included because I don't know what they are and I legitimately am curious as to what they are. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, and so, but they're a bit rude and I don't know what they are. Here Good. we go. Let's just hook straight into it. This is Tom and Luke balls. Classic. Now, so Tom and Luke. thinking. Tom and Luke. G'day. Please send me your balls. I would love to taste them. Legit. Have you got a Facebook page? Because our fans are going to write on your page. Send us your balls so we can put them in it our mouth. It says healthy. I wonder if they're tasty as well. Yeah. Tom and Luke, I want your balls in my mouth. ASAP. Get on it. Martin, there it is. <laughs> that person should see a doctor. Cock pine. We've been getting a lot of this cockpit stuff, haven't we? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Heaps oh, it's for a it. car, is it? It's good. Okay, good. Martin, this here, bone up. <laughs> Get on it. 240 capsules. What is it, Martin? It's, um, I don't even know what that is. Martin, this is a steamy, no, it's a skinny summer. Mm. What does it say? It's a skinny summer cock, mate. Okay, good. Summer's coming, um, if back... you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Well done, everyone. 
Martin, that's just balls. Awesome. <laughs> oh, wow, look at it. But actually, the logo is designed to make it look like that guy has large balls. Martin, this is... Let's get closer here. Martin, this is Roadkill's Bloody Hot Ring Burner. Okay. It says proudly Australian. Um, and this, what's, what's the, what's I don't the, know what he's doing, doing, but there's other people hanging out. They're all going like group shopping. Dong. Dong. Wow, that's... Well, <laughs> popular for women, apparently. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Ah, oh, it took me a minute, Martin. See what it is? Milf vanilla? Yeah, it's vanilla milf. Delicious. Well done. Martin, that's a meaty stick. Classic. Well done. Yep. That's a boar snake. Oh. Look at the little picture on it. It's very rude. Well done. Okay, good. Martin. <laughs> that's a beaver blaster. <laughs> what is that? It says, <laughs> what does it do? I don't know. It shoots balls up to 20 feet. <laughs> well done. Martin, this is a fresh noodle on him. Good. It well certainly done. is. Well That's done. a lot of fingering. Okay. What is that? Where are, where are you? That's the other question. He's near Stroke. mixed. Gun Nuts. Oil. It says gun oil. Oh no, oh that's in the condom aisle actually. Yeah, but it says gun oil. But, but I don't know says, what sort of gun Can there. you make it to the 20 knots? Thanking everyone. Martin, this is a <laughs> banana pop. Mainly just rude, because look at that banana ice cream, mate. Yeah. It looks delicious. Look Ooh. how stoked the monkey is. He's gonna get into that. Happy's laughing gear. Martin, that's that. a life splat. <laughs> get, in, get into it. Nut goodies. Oh, see, well, these are nice. We're, we're back to nice ones. These are these are, are nice. Martin, that's a quick blow. Yep, good. Well done. Blow dry. Awesome. That's the big willy. Yep, certainly is. Well done. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> what is that? Flaky layers. It's so that's it's a. <laughs> <laughs> That's a can of um. Grant. That's a can of Grant. Of a granddad's. Grant is it grand? It's, it's a can of something that's exploded. Oh, <laughs> put me off my lunch. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> well, okay. Next, that that should be thank of the week. So I don't know what I'm. All right, next up. one. What's next. No, this is this is thinking evolved. So this is this oh, is two it different is products. Two. Two different products, look at this, this one. This is the first time. Big cock. Well, yes it is, but... And we've seen Mr. Big and cock before as well. And now we've got Mr. Big cock. They've combined two products well to make done. a thank. You've evolved. And so that, I'm giving it thank of the week, but I'm giving a second thank of the week to someone else who's done it, Martin. Look at this. Look at this. It's banana nice spray candy balls. and blue balls. Two different people? Two different people. Wow. They've evolved the thanking. You've taken thanking and you've run with it. Uh, you've, you've erected it to a new level. Well done. If you would like to share your ridiculous thanking photos with us, um, you can share them on the thanking Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash thanking daily. Um, share them on the wall and then we'll put them on the show. As I said, some of them are too rude. Mom, everyone can come back now. Um, some of them are too rude, so you'll just have to look at them on the page. And thanking, obviously a lot of thanking takes place in supermarkets and place where you buy, places where you buy food. Which brings us into oh. story time. Story time, Martin. Is it? Yeah. No, my town. Not story time. Is it? Mm. Are you doing, are we swipping it? Swipping it up? Swapping it? We're doing story time. We're swapping it. Okay, cool. Everyone, this is story time. I'm not known for my storytelling abilities. True. Um, but something happened in the last uh, couple of days which I feel is an important thing, like a, almost like a public service announcement. Really? Um, seeing all these fanks in a shopping centre reminded me. Um, it's common knowledge that I like to eat Dick Smith's Bush Foods for breakfast. Yes. Every single day. I love it. It's an incredible thing. It's Australian made. Um, all the profit from it goes to charity, which I think is really cool. And it's a delicious breakfast. Are we going deep, Martin? It's a regular delicious breakfast. Are we talking about political scandals again? Uh, no, we're not going to quite go there yet, but we can. But let me finish this bit first. Okay. I'll introduce it and then we go politi oh, political okay. scandals. This is, a, this is a serious episode, man. It is. It's getting pretty serious. But I'm going to keep it light just for this bit. Light being the operative word because this Dick Smith's 
bush foods was incredibly light and tasty and enjoyable. And I found a cereal, it's very hard to find a cereal that you like if you're a cereal eater. If you're not an egg eater, do you eat eggs? No. See, I don't eat eggs either. So I don't want my poached or my scrambled or my, my egg omelette things. I prefer a nice, cool breakfast of cereals. That's right. So what happened? Dick Smith changed his bush foods. <laughs> that shit. He changed his bush foods. But here's the thing, right? Same box, same everything, identical side by side, different contents, and that's not cool. No. It's not cool to change the contents of the thing and sell it as the same thing, and it's different, and everyone's blown up about it, me included, because I was so excited to eat my dick this morning, and I went to eat my dick, and I poured my dick into the bowl, and I put the dick in my mouth, and it was just... It was, a it was not the dick you expected. It was a different cereal. It was a different dick. It was different cereal. How can you do that? Change it back, please. It's my public service announcement. No one else cares. I care a lot about it. I didn't have my favourite breakfast. No, no, I'm not even. Can gonna... you change the product inside the box, Mr. Big? If you go go buy a chocolate bar and they go, it doesn't say it's new. It just says it's the same thing, and you eat it, and it's different. You'd be devastated, right? You'd, well, I don't know about devastated, but you'd be mildly perturbed. Mm. We should leave that story there, Martin. Should we? We're not going to talk about the fact that Smith thinks Australia's full. Well, Martin and I, a couple of years ago, we drove across Australia. We borrowed some people's cars, lend us a ride. And we just flew there as well across Australia. And we saw a lot of emptiness and it took five and a half hours. There's nothing out there, man. Well, actually, there's lots of things out there. There's lots of, there's obviously, there's the indigenous territories and other things that are out there and there's sand and there's towns and there's things and whatever. But I saw a sticker on the back of a ute once mm. that said, we're full. Mm. Have I told you this? Yeah, yeah. And have. there was no apostrophe. They just forgot the apostrophe. So it says, we're full. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's not get too deep. But, but I understand that Dick Smith, who is yeah. kind of a bit of an Australian icon, is now, he's got, his, he's got a bit of a campaign going on um, that is, is it anti-immigration? Is that it? I'm not even versed on it, so I don't even want to go there. Do you he know just, anything about it? He said there's too many, too many people immigrating, and that's a story that's going on all over the world, and it's, it's, it's both interesting and boring at the same time. But the problem is, Dick Smith, you, you, you made this brilliant thing. You made a cereal that's unlike any other. You're giving all your profits to charity, doing some really cool stuff. You changed he is it. doing some things. And then you're saying that, that people shouldn't immigrate, and it's just like, come on, man. Come on, man. Be cool. Be cool. Everyone should be cool. Everyone needs to calm down, man. Calm down. Go Everyone, drive a car, do a skid, have a good time. Everyone needs to have a little smoke of their olives or their smoked salmon, whatever I've been doing. Been they need smoking to, olives. They need to eat and the relax. Blue, get rid of their blue balls by putting them in their mouth and eating them and enjoying them. What's, that, what's next? We're cutting today, Martin. What do you mean? We're cutting. What's that? We're, we're like cutting through. Are we? Well, there's probably no one left. Everyone's already left the video now, so uh -huh. it's just you and me hanging out. No, there's good stuff still to go, like Is there? My Town. This week in My Town, we're going to Ventura, California. Um, I haven't been there before, but I understand it's like a, um, is it a Spanish settlement. Mm. Was it? Mm. Is Something it? like that. Something like that. I understand that. they have a boulevard that's very famous for lots of reasons. And an hey, hour or two from LA, yeah? And it looks like it looks like Los Angeles. It looks like California. Yeah. Don't you think? It's in California. Yeah. So I that's good. I looked at it and went, that's cool, and it looks sunny and nice, and I want to go and visit, and I want to eat an avocado. I think it's north. It could be south. I don't know. But they've got avocados, um, they've got cars, uh, and they've got unicorn circuit fans bringing you videos just and like... we are sharing the same ocean as them. When you see their beach, and you'll see the beach in this thing, it looks like kind of like our beaches. Here it is. Hello, Unicorn Circuit. My name is Sam, and today I am going to show you my town, Ventura, California. So Ventura is a coast town about an hour north of Los Angeles. Founded, I think, sometime in the 1700s is when the uh, Spanish first came to this area and sort of made a little community. This is our little downtown area, which is uh, the old town, I guess you could say. We have this really steep street called Palm Street. It just kind of goes straight down. This is the Ventura Pier. Even though it's kind of cloudy, there's still people out enjoying the beach out here. This right here is called Surfer's Point. The best place to catch some waves in town. This is Ventura Harbor. If you had your own boat, you could rent one of these uh, docks, like this one right here, for about $200 a month. 
I think they give you all the same hookups that they would if you had an RV, so like sewer, electricity. Then you can live on your boat. Agriculture is a major industry in town, and we have three major crops that we grow here. Uh, what you see up here, this is gonna be strawberries eventually right now. They would have just planted them. They put these uh, plastic covers over them just to keep the bugs out. Eventually they're gonna poke holes in all the tops of them so the plant can actually grow. Citrus is our next major crop. This is a lemon orchard. You can't really see many lemons because uh, they're not in season right now. Last crop is avocados. Uh, all the trees are kind of short. Uh, usually avocado trees are a little bit taller. We had a really cold winter a couple years ago and a lot of the avocado groves died so they all had to get replanted. So these are all I want to say maybe four or five years old. Alright everyone that was my town, Ventura, California. Thanks for watching. So there it is, delicious. Uh, recently, uh, there were some articles written about avocados. In Sydney, avocados have gone just have gone off the charts. There's a smashed avocado line now, Martin. Like, the, was it the Red Rooster line hmm? in Sydney? Oh yeah. There's an avocado one now. Um, it's called the it's called the Red Zone, and it's um it's a zone where if you join all the Red Roosters together and you put a line through it, you sort of see this big separation of, of different yep. you know, areas. Of well, now there's a green zone, man, and basically it looks like a Christmas card. You've got green and red going on. Anywhere um, you can get smashed avocado. And um, smashed avocado, and the price of it kind of as well. Oh, okay. And so like half an avocado smashed on a bit of toast, 18 bucks in the eastern suburbs. Whoa. That's one eight. 18. Whoa. In American dollars, what's that? $15 American? I paid $12 the other day for a ham, cheese, and tomato toasted sandwich, and it was like, I, 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 it was just... I will never doing that again. There I'm it is, My Town. Send us your My Towns. My Town at theunicorncircuit.com. We've already done story time, that's it. So let's just cook right into Random Meat Bag. <laughs> This week on Random Meat Bag, it is something that we've been uh, talking about eating for a long time. And you know what? Each time we look at it, we just throw it away. So today we're doing it. This is the prepared shredded squid. And Marty and I will each be what's having a small taste. What's the expiry date on that? 2018, man. We're all good. We're all good. Um, best before. The ingredients. <laughs> best, best before never. 89.2% squid, dude. Oh, nice. So let's just have a little taste. You oh, don't have stop. to eat it. Just smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smell it. Just have a tiny, just a nibble, man. You'll just look at that prepared squid. <laughs> you want to smell? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. Are you ready? Are you ready? We, our beats are both there. <laughs> oh. What? Oh. Come on, man. Oh. Are you oh. ready? Okay, oh. here we go. This is the Oh my god, I got a little bit of it. And we're both going to eat it. Our bits oh. are the same size, so it's fair. Oh. And um, here we go, everyone. And one, two, three. Well done, Martin. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. That smells like a urinal that's never been. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's that's disgusting. Oh, that's the greatest thing ever. 